What's up you guys? Just want to do another video for you guys. Um, just some tips and tricks on hanging up a faux wood blind. Uh, actually two of them here. Um, we actually decided to go with the Home Decorators brand, which is just a Home Depot brand. Um, I actually found them cheaper on eBay. So uh, look around a little bit. I looked on Home Depot, we went to Lowe's, we went to Menards, all over the place. But uh, we found that eBay was the cheapest and that's what we did. Um, so uh, just to get started here, we actually, we decided to do two separate blinds here. One here, one here, because these are two separate windows. And maybe we wanna open just one window or the other window. Um, sometimes we put an air conditioner in this window so we didn't want the whole blind to be up all the time. Um, so um, I'm just going to show you guys a, a couple quick ways on how to do this and I'll try not to talk too much through it but uh, just to give you some pointers on the way. Um, all you really need is a screw gun. I'm just using a Phillips bit. I have a drill bit here so I can pre-drill. Tape measure pencil that's always in my ear, and uh, uh, actually just a utility knife uh, just to open the package up and um, get your get the hardware all laid out. I like to lay everything out. Um, I know you can't see down here, but um, just to kind of go uh, faster, I guess, for the video sake, but then also just to see how I like to line that up. Um, so what I do first is actually get my full measurement and my full measurement, 86 and a half. So my halfway mark is actually 43 and a quarter. Um, and I'm just kind of trying to line that up right there in the center. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just get a little mark here, just with my pencil at 43 and a quarter. That way our blinds are gonna match up really nice. Um, we want them to come, you know, obviously right together. Um, because we're joining two blinds together. Um, so then we will actually take our first bracket. And uh, the brackets are super simple. Um, I like to open them up completely like this. Uh, it just is a little bit easier to work with when you're pre-drilling and, and driving your screws in. So I'll take my first one, and they actually are indicated right on it. I don't know if you can see, or maybe the camera's uh, focused there. But there's an L here and an R on the other side. And then you have your center bracket, just like this. And they say bottom up. Uh, actually, on the back, there's an arrow pointing up. Um, so I will take my first one, and I'll just get a little mark here. Just to get things started, after you get your mark here, put your first bracket up, and the brackets go open like this. Open on this side. And I'm just driving two screws in, so I just need two holes. Another thing that I failed to mention, um, I'm actually running my brackets, and this is another trick too. Um, they say actually on the directions uh, to run them two inches off of your trim. Uh, in, in some cases, you may want to do that. What I'm doing is an outside mount. Um, so when they say outside, outside of the, uh, the trim, inside mount would be here, you know, inside of the, the window. Um, but in this case, we're doing outside mount, and I actually just like running the bracket right on top of the trim. Um, I hung up a couple other ones uh, over in our dining, dining kitchen area and moving over here into the living room. So just wanted to uh, uh, show you here on this window. But uh, again, just a quick little trick. Run it right on top of the top of the trim. And again, down here, um, you'll see how I'll float that out on this other one and get your level. Um, I'll show you that in just a little bit.
while I got the bit out, I'll just do all my drilling. Take that back. You want to put your other one up first. This one up first, so then you can butt it right up against each other, so you know that it's going to look uh, level. forgot I did that in the last one. So just switch it out, get your Phillips bit in. It comes with uh, two lengths of screws. <clears throat> you want to use the longer ones. And again, I'm actually, this is um, actually in this house, it has paneling, wood paneling. Uh, we just painted it and uh, there's drywall behind that. Um, it, you don't have to worry too much in my case uh, to hit a stud, um, especially with these they are pretty light. Um, if you're really worried about, you know, um, you want a little bit more uh, support, maybe you're just going into drywall, you might want to try and look for some, uh, some studs back there. Uh, but in that case, just grab a stud finder and uh, check and see if you can find a stud. Again, pre-drilling makes it a lot faster and a lot easier. Um, if you're not pre-drilling, you're going to um, take a lot more work on yourself trying to hold this at the same time and hold your screw. Um, and I like to use a magnetic bit uh, just so it holds that screw on there. So there's our first bracket. Got that one up. We'll move on to our next one here. My bit set up. And again, we have our left one, so we need our right one now. It says right on there. And now I'll just try and match that up exactly, uh, you know, with this other one here. Um, again, if you're doing it um, in a case where you have to go up a little bit further because your trim sits out too far and there's no clearance, um, that makes it really tricky. You're going to have to use a level a tape measure, get your lines straight, make sure that you uh, have your blinds looking nice and uh, flat or else you will see it for sure. screws. Another trick. I always like putting one uh, actually just in my lip here. Um, when I put it in my lip I have it ready for the next one. Maybe you have one of those fancy little guys right here that holds your screws or a wrist uh, magnetic band. I don't have that so I've always done this. It's something my grandpa did. <laughs> I think it's fun to chew on while you're doing this. make sure that you got your uh, brackets looking nice and lined up. I can see that these are looking pretty flat there. Um, there's actually little grooves. I know you can't see it with um, the camera so far away, but there's little grooves there that you can kind of match up and you can see that line's like perfect. So that's what we go off of. Now we'll get this outside corner. And again, um, Bracket's got to be open. This has an R on it, so we know that that's our right side. Um, what I like to do here to get my line, this is a pretty cool trick. I just take a blind out just like this. Make sure you got the front of it. 
and I just put it right in. Just like so. They slip in there, super easy. Um, there's actually a little notch back here, uh, a notch and a notch here. Um, most full blinds are pretty similar, so uh, I guarantee that there's probably that on yours. Slide this up. And what's nice is it kind of just sits in there for you. Um, you don't really need another person to hold that up. Um, unless you had a really uh, long area that you were trying to hold up a whole blind together. But in this case, um, this is just a 47 by 48 blind and pretty easy for me just to slap it in there. I'll take my other bracket, stick it on the end here. And then um, I just kind of eyeball it actually. You can see, I can see my line back here um, underneath the trim. And I can see that I'm really close uh, to being level. You want to make sure that you're not holding on the blind itself because that would push your line up. You want to hold right on the bracket, let that sit in there like it were uh, actually sitting in the bracket. So make sure it's in there. And you could, for extra measure, you could slap it in like it was actually uh, closed in there for you to use the blind. But I'll just get my level. I can see that we're pretty, looking pretty level there. So I'll get a mark here, mark it on the top, and I'll mark on the side, just like so. Take this out, take your blind up, set it back down in the box, or just on the floor in front of you. And then we're ready to uh, make our mark here. line it back up and I'll just drill my pilot holes, get them ready for the screws. Boom, got that one. Now I'll actually go to my other side and I will do the same what I just did here. Grab that blind again. You can just use the same blind. Make sure you got the uh, front facing out. Slip that in there. Make sure you got your pencil in your gear. I'll get my bracket put in on the side. Again, just try and get my level. Check that gap all the way down. I can see I'm pretty dang close. As if that bracket was sitting on top of the trim. Just get my mark here, top side. And if you're really OCD about pencil marks being on your wall, you're not going to see it later. Um, because we put a balance up and the balance actually, that little decorative balance will cover right over that so you won't see it anyways. We'll get our mark here with our pilot. Really crucial to get this um, this spot lined right up because uh, you will definitely see it waver in your um, in your blind if you don't get your your level just right. So we want to make sure we do that. So got my mark there. Pilot. One on the top. I like to actually put one screw on one side. Uh, there's four holes, one on one side and one on the outside, um, just to uh, kind of space it out a little bit for where you're throwing those screws in. 
mark for those brackets. They give you a, um, a center headrail bracket here. Um, again, this one's super simple because we're just lining it up really in the center of those two brackets. Um, so while you have your drill bit out, you might as well just make that mark. Um, again, on this one, it says bottom. This is up. Line it right up on the trim there. Kind of put it center. It doesn't matter. You're not going to see it. Um, you know, if it's not exact, um, but I'm kind of looking off the window here. I can see that that's pretty setting. Other thing that's real helpful is a ladder, unless you're super tall, uh, that makes it easier. Again, I'll just make this mark here. Now that we got all of our marks lined up, now we can uh, grab our screws and uh, put all of our brackets in. One on the lip, one on the bit. On this outside, um, because you're not working with the trim, you want to make sure that you're looking at your line again. Um, make sure that it's looking pretty flat so when you put your first screw in, you can kind of pivot on that screw. Because again, that, uh, that is really important to get that nice and straight. Grab our other screws here, one in the lip, one in the bit. Top if you're right-handed, this spot's kind of hard because uh, everything else is pretty much right-handed. And when you're against the wall like this, it makes it a little more hard. Want to make sure you get that straight. Also because you can't see it from this side, um, you're kind of blinded by the bracket itself. Alright, we'll get our, uh, our center head row brackets in. Again, make sure you got the top and the bottom. felt like it hit a stud for sure with a pretty uh, tough feeling. So that's good to have a stud in the center, definitely. Now that we got our 
brackets up there. Um, we're ready to uh, throw our blind in. So get our blind out. Again, um, pretty easy to tell the front because the strings are coming out. But we'll just pull everything out. They uh, lay everything on the inside so you, you have to pull it out. Um, just like that. And just like we did before, we just slide it right on in. And if it gives you a little fuss um, going in there, you can bend these brackets just a little bit. Um, however, when you're running in the center like this, it makes it a little harder. Um, these just clip down, just like that. And just like that. When you hear that pop, you can see that little uh, that little uh, bracket, uh, there's kind of like a little pin that kind of comes out, slips right in there. Make sure your head rail uh, center is looking good. Golden. While I'm up here, I'll just pull all the packaging out. Uh, there's just some cardboard, other stuff like that, just to keep the uh, blind clean when they ship it. <laughs> and I will just clean that up um, when I'm done. Get my ladder straight here, grab my other blind. Then get all the goodies out of there. Make sure you got the front. This one was actually open a little bit in the packaging. That's okay. Slide it in. You kind of want to get them uh, going in at the same time. Um, it makes it a lot easier. If you just slip one side in and you're trying to close it, this other side makes it a little more difficult. But as soon as you feel that they're in, check your uh, bracket underneath. Make sure one of the blinds isn't stuck inside there. That happens too. And then I'll just pop that down. Pop that one down. Pull out the packaging. Get all the goodies out. And then we're ready for the, uh, we're ready to pull the blind down now. Really check our work. And again, to get your measurements, um, I actually, um, this was the closest that I could get um, to this size window because there's two right together. Um, obviously, most windows are pretty, uh, pretty common sizes. Um, however, I ran into a little spot that I couldn't find um, the exact width. Um, and they can cut these. I chose to just throw them up there the way that they are. However, um, my wife and I, we were kind of looking at it, and yes, there is a little bit of a gap here, a little more than what is normal. Um, however, that just gives you a little bit more privacy. Um, this is our living room, so we like to, uh, you know, obviously have a little more privacy in the living room. Um, I don't always like to keep my pants on, so uh, yeah, we want a little more privacy. <laughs> um, it's got a little tangled here. That's okay. And it's up to you if you want to keep those on or not. It's just, um, you know, the child uh, advisory there. Pull your string out, get that untangled. And everyone knows how to use a blind this way, you know, obviously loosens it, this way tightens it. But we can see that, uh, yeah, we got things pretty, uh, pretty close. So uh, I like to kind of close them, check and see, you know, and if you need to make any adjustments, now's the time, um, you know, to see if you need to move one side up just a little bit. Um, but they're lined up pretty close. Um, I do have OCD, so I really like them to line, line up just right. <laughs> but uh, they look good to me. So now um, when it comes to the balance, um, these are a two and a half inch 
um, full wood blind, so it does have a little bit more of a decorative balance, um, which most people kind of like. It has more coverage. Um, you know, it, it actually kind of matches our trim. Um, we're still working on trim in this room, but in the uh, kitchen dining area, this pattern kind of matches our, our uh, crown molding, um, if you will. So um, these are really simple to put up. They take these little clips, just like this. And what you do is actually, set this here for a second. Um, you want this facing up. So I can tell that the top of the blind is that bigger spot and um, you know the decorative OG uh, look is kind of going down. And you just clip the bottom in, just like this. And the top clips in, super simple. Um, you want it kind of close to the end, however, that bracket is in the way, so um, you're not going to be able to get it right to the end. And then I'll just kind of throw one in the center. Again, just the bottom and then the top clips in, super simple, and they don't really come out. They're, uh, they're built pretty simple. Bottom, top. And then they just clip in, just like this. Um, I like to take my ladder and I'll go up there and see, um, you know, obviously you don't want that um, getting in the way of the bracket. But you just kind of get it lined up, push down on it. Just like so. And I'll get it pretty close, you know, um, you can kind of feel the ends there. Um, and I'll show you a little trick there in the center. Take our other one, do the same exact thing. Grab our little brackets here. We want to make sure you got the top. Again, bottom, top clips in, go in the center, bottom, top. Go to my end. Boom. Up here, get it all lined up. Make sure there's no brackets in the way. I want to get a little bit closer to my other, my center piece. Just like so. Now, um, before you put your end caps on, because I do give you end caps that uh, is just a decor decorative edge, I got a little trick for you um, to keep this centerpiece looking nice. Um, if you're like me, again, OCD. So I like to have my trim, you know, um, it, nothing bugs me more than when you have, you know, a mitered uh, piece of trim that is just a little bit off. Um, you know, obviously you, you can get it as close as you can and caulk the rest. However, in this, we're not putting caulk on it, nothing, no paint. So they send these little corners just like this. And really you could use really any, um, a uh, piece of material that's going to fit in that channel um, in the back part of this balance. I took this corner piece just like this and I took a, a pair of pliers, um, two pairs of pliers on each side and I just broke off a little piece just like that. I had There's a couple extra ones that come in this package and obviously I didn't need all of them um, for each spot. Um, so I said with the hay, um, I would just break off a little spot so I can slip it in here and I will show you. I'll slip one in just the center here on one side, get it started. And then I'll match up this other side with it. And then you can kind of squeeze them together. So then you don't have to look at something that's a little bit on, you know, uneven. Um, and they're not going to slide around at all. Um, sometimes the string kind of hits it and you can uh, uh, make that balance move just a little bit. So just a little trick there. And then um, we will take that same part uh, there. These are corners and end caps here. So it's easiest to get this um, put together first, you want to slide that corner in 
uh, to your end cap, just like that. And this is set up for that side. And then that slides just in the end of that channel as well. And it just slides right in the, on the end, slides into this channel. Boom. Get it pretty tight. You don't want to break it, obviously, but you can kind of push on it pretty good uh, just to get your lines looking right. Right. Come over on my other hand. I'll grab my corner. And again, just for this end, um, that it lays just like this. Slide that in. Oh, you know what? This one is broke. End of it's broke. Sometimes in the packaging, they come that way. Um, hopefully you have a little bit more to work with. Um, if not, you can contact the company and uh, work with them and see what you can get um, to replace some of the parts. But uh, in my case, I didn't need all of the ends because this is joining uh, two of them together. So uh, got it all set here. Slide it on the end. Get it looking nice. Boom, that's as easy as that. Um, you can see it, it's lined up pretty dang close. Um, with the blinds, you can kind of fix them. Obviously, when they're in packaging, they get moved around a lot in the warehouse and whatsoever. Um, but yeah, you can see that everything's matched up pretty good. And uh, just to get kind of a, a different use out of uh, putting two blinds together on a bigger window where two windows meet, uh, this is just kind of a, a little trick and tip, and maybe it helped you um, for some of your other windows that you're working on. Uh, make sure you subscribe. Thank you guys so much for uh, hanging out with me. Again, my name's Del. Have a good one.